Mathematics for Quarter 2, Week 4, Lesson Exemplar Based. Our topic is about order of operations according to MDAS rules, wherein MDAS refer to multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. For our lesson objectives, we have first perform two or more different operations by applying the MDAS rules. Next, we have represent situations involving one or more of the four operations using a number sentence. For our day one to two, we will tackle about order of operations, performing two operations such as addition and subtraction or AS rule and multiplication and division or MD rule. Now for our review or drill, Let's answer the following. 5 times 7 equals 35. 81 divided by 9 equals 9. 35 minus 3 equals, all right, we have 32. And 12 plus 25 equals 37. Lastly, 33 times 3 equals 99. Now for our activity number 1, write the missing number so that the addition sentence becomes correct. For our guide questions, let's answer, how did you find the missing number so that the addition sentence is correct? Number two, how did you check if your answer is correct? Okay, let's try the first set. So we have 10 plus 4 plus blank equals 22. And this is equal to 10 plus 4 plus blank. So let's add first 10 plus 4. We have 14. Then find out how many more do we need in order to come up with 22 as our sum. So we will have... 8 as our answer. And to check, let's subtract 14 from 22. So 22 minus 14 will have the answer, which is 8. So 10 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 22. Next, we have blank plus 8 plus 7 equals 18. So if we add the first two numbers that are present, we have 8 plus 7, we will arrive at 15 as our answer. So how many more do we need in order to get 18 as our sum? So we have already 15. So if you count, then you will find out that we still need 3. So that is 3 plus 8 plus 7 equals 18. Or this is equal to 3 plus 8 we have 11 plus 7 we have 18 and now for the third set we have 12 plus blank plus 6 equals 33 if we add 12 plus 6 we will be given 18 then how many more do we need in order for us to get 33 as our answer we can actually subtract 33 minus 18 is equal to 15 in this part, we can actually have 12 plus, then 15 plus 6, that is 21. So 12 plus 21 equals 33. And on this side, 12 plus 15 equals 27 plus 6 will have 33. The arrangements of the number does not affect the sum. Now for our activity number 2, write the missing number so that the multiplication sentence is correct. Guide questions. How did you find the missing number so that the multiplication sentence is correct? And two, how did you check if the answer is correct? Now let's try the first set. We have 4 times 2 times blank equals 40. So if we're going to multiply this 4 times 2, we will have 8. So what do we multiply to 8 in order to come up with 40? So, upon thinking, we will have 5. And it's the same with the numbers on the other side. So, we'll have 5 also. In this 
arrangement, we have to answer first what's in the parentheses. So 2 times 5 equals 10 times 4, you have 40. And in this case, we have 4 times 2 equals 8 times 5 equals 40. And for the second set, we have blank times 6 times 3 equals 54 is equal to blank times 6, then times 3. So if you see, we have 6 times 3 inside the parenthesis then it's equal to 18. What do we multiply to 18? That will give us an answer, which is 54. All right, that is three. So three times, the answer for six times three, which is 18. So three times 18 equals 54, or we have three times six, that's equal to 18. Then multiply it by three, we have 54. Now for the third set, we have 4 times blank times 3 equals 60 or this arrangement. What will we do? Just multiply 4 times 3, we'll have 12. So what will you multiply to 12 that will come up with 60 as our sum? Right, that is 5. So same thing with the other side. So 4 times, that is 5 times 3 equals 15. So 4 times 15 equals 60. Then we have 4 times 5 equals 20 times 3, that is also equal to 60. So again, as you can see, the arrangement or the association of the numbers does not affect the answer. Now let's move on to the order of operations, performing two operations such as addition and subtraction or the AS rule and multiplication and division or the MD rule. AS rule stands for addition and subtraction rule. The rule states that you should perform addition or subtraction whichever comes first from left to right. While well, MD rule stands for multiplication and division rule. The rule states that you should perform multiplication or division whichever comes first from left to right. Example number one. What is the value of 20 minus 8 plus 13? Now for our solution, let's start from left to right according to the rule. So we have 20 minus 8 plus 13. Let's perform first 20 minus 8. So you have 12. Then copy plus 13. Then perform 12 plus 13. The answer is 25. Sample number 2. What is the value of 15 plus 27 minus 2 minus 10 and plus 17? So for our solution... The first thing is from left to right, perform the indicated operation. So 15 plus 27, we have 42, then copy the rest. Minus 2, minus 10, plus 17. Then let's perform the next operation. We have 42 minus 2 equals 40. Then copy the rest. We have minus 10, plus 17. 40 minus 10 is equal to 30, then copy plus 17. Then last, add 30 plus 17, that is equal to 47. So our final answer is 47, meaning 15 plus 27 minus 2 minus 10 plus 17 equals 47. And now for our example number 3, let's solve the problem. Our Thor has 15 pieces of colored papers. Ben borrowed two colored papers from Arthur, while Catherine borrowed five and Dave borrowed six. Ellie gave Arthur eight colored papers. How many colored papers does Arthur have now? So our number sentence, 15 which refers to the original number of colored papers that Arthur has. Then minus two, which was borrowed by Ben. Minus 5 borrowed by Catherine and minus 6 borrowed by Dave. And plus 8 which was given by Ellie to Arthur. Now for our solution, 
Again, 15 minus 2 minus 5 minus 6 plus 8. Let's start from the left to the right. So we have 15 minus 2 plus 13. Then copy the rest of the numbers. Then perform the leftmost operation. We have 13 minus 5. That is equal to 8. Minus 6 plus 8. Then 8 minus 6, we have 2 copy plus 8. So perform the last operation. We have 2 plus 8 equals 10. Example number 4. What is the value of 30 divided by 6 times 3? And for our solution, let's start from left to right. So we have to divide the numbers first. 30 divided by 6 equals 5, then copy times 3. Then perform 5 times 3 equals 15 for our final answer. Now example number 5. Determine the value of 22 times 3 divided by 2 divided by 11. For our solution, notice that there are two operations in this mathematical sentence. But according to the rule, whichever comes first should be the one that we should perform first. 22 times 3, then copy the rest. So 22 times 3 equals 66, copy divided by 2 and divided by 11. Then divide 66 by 2, we have 33, then copy divided by 11. So 33 divided by 11, we have 3. Now for example, number 6. Mrs. Cruz has 30 pupils. She grouped the class into three groups. Each pupil in a group gets two pencils. How many pencils were received by one group? Okay, so 30 pupils divided by 3 groups, then times 2. So 30 divided by 3, we have 10, times 2, that is equal to 20, or 20. So there are 20 pencils in one group. Now let's do the following. Group yourselves into 2, determine the value of the following. Group 1 will perform according to AS rule and group 2 will perform according to MD rule. Read and solve the problem, but this time you will be the one to solve the problem. Jane gave 11 pieces of candies which she wants to share equally with her three friends. After taking two candies, how much will each of her friends receive? Now, let's answer what does M does stands for. Alright, it stands for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, state the AS rule and MD rule. And for your assessment, determine the missing number so that the number sentence is correct. Thank you for watching your guide towards learning. Teacher ITV, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you.